Let's see if we can take the derivative with respect to x of the fourth root of x to the third power plus 4x squared plus 7. And at first you might say, all right, how do I take the derivative of a fourth root of something? It looks like I have a composite function. I'm taking the fourth root of another expression here. And you'd be right. And if you're dealing with a composite function, the chain rule should be front of mind. But first, let's just make this fourth root a little bit more tractable for us. And just realize that this fourth root is really nothing but a fractional exponent. So this is the same thing as the derivative with respect to x of x to the third plus 4x squared plus 7 to the 1 fourth power. To the 1 fourth power. Now, how do we take the derivative of this? Well, we can view this, as I said a few seconds ago, we can view this as a composite function. What do we do first with our x? Well, we do all of this business, and we could call this u of x. And then whatever we get for u of x, we raise that to the fourth power. So the way that we would take the derivative, we would take the derivative of this, you could view it as the outer function with respect to u of x, and then multiply that times the derivative of u with respect to x. So let's, let's do that. So what this is going to be, this is going to be equal to, so we're going to take our outside function, which I'm highlighting in green now. So where I take something to the 1 fourth, I'm going to take the derivative of that with respect to the inside, with respect to u of x. Well, I'm just going to use the power rule here. I'm just going to bring that 1 fourth out front. So it's going to be 1 fourth times whatever I'm taking the derivative with respect to, to the 1 fourth minus 1 power. Look, all I did is use the power rule here. I didn't have an x here. Now I'm taking the derivative with respect to u of x, with, res respect, with respect to this polynomial expression here. So I could just throw the u of x in here if I like. Actually, let me just do that. So this is going to be x to the third plus 4x squared plus 7. And then I want to multiply that. And this is a chain rule. I took the derivative of the outside with respect to the inside. And I'm going to multiply that times the derivative of the inside. So what's the derivative of u of x? u prime of x. Let's see. We're just going to use the power rule a bunch of times. It's going to be 3x squared plus 2 times 4 is 8x to the 2 minus 1 is just 1 power, first power. So that's just, I can just write that as 8x. And then the derivative with respect to x of 7, well, a derivative with respect to x of a constant is just going to be 0. So that's u prime of x. So then I'm just going to multiply by u prime of x, which is 3x squared plus 3x squared plus 8x. And so, well, I can clean this up a little bit. So this would be equal to, this would be equal to, actually, let me just rewrite that exponent there. So this 1 fourth minus 1, I can rewrite it. 1 fourth minus 1 is negative 3 fourths. Negative 3 fourths. Negative 3 fourths power. And you could manipulate this in different ways if you like, but the key is to just recognize that this is an application of the chain rule. Derivative of the outside, with, well actually the first thing to realize is the fourth root is the same thing as taking something to the 1 fourth power, basic exponent property. And then realize that okay, I have a composite function here. So I can take the derivative of the outside with respect to the inside, that's what we did here, times the derivative of the inside with respect to x. And so if someone were to tell you, if someone were to say, all right, f of x, f of x is equal to the fourth root of x to the third plus 4x squared plus 7. And then they said, well, what is f prime of, I don't know, negative 3? Well, you would evaluate this at negative 3. So this, let me just do that. So it's 1 fourth times, let's see, you have negative 27. I hope this works out reasonably well plus 36, plus 36, plus 7 to the negative 3 fourths. What does this result to? This is going to be equal to, this, is, this right over here is 16, right? Negative 27 plus 7 is negative 20 plus 36. So this is 16. I think this is going to work out nicely. And then times 3 times Negative, so 3 times 9, which is 27 minus 24. So this is going to be right over here. That is going to be 3. 
Now what is 16 to the negative 3 fourths? So let me, this is 1 fourth times, so 16 to the 1 fourth is 2, and then you raise that to the, let me, actually I don't want to skip steps here. But this is, at this point we are dealing with algebra, or maybe even pre-algebra. So this is going to be times, times 16 to the 1 fourth, and then we're going to raise that to the negative 3 times that 3 out front. So we could put that 3 there. 16 to the 1 fourth is 2. 2 to the 3rd is 8. So 2 to the negative 3rd power is 1 eighth. So that is 1 eighth. So we have 3 fourths times 1 eighth, which is equal to 3 over 32. 3 30 seconds. So that would be the slope of the tangent line of the, of the graph y is equal to f of x when x is equal to negative 3.